Hey, I'm Sapphire. Wanna hear something scary? Before we head into our next story, make sure you're subscribed to Snarled and the bell is turned on for notifications. This next chapter comes from Layla, whose life changed after she took a pocket watch from a haunted shack. Layla had always been somewhat of an outcast at school. Because of her thin frame and gaunt features, kids were afraid of her. But there were four girls in particular who loved to pick on her. Christina, Emma, Jessica, and Jasmine. They would call her demon girl. Freak. She looks like a witch. Careful, she might put a spell on you. When Layla told a teacher about this, the girls cornered her during lunch period and beat her up. Layla and her family had just moved to a new house. Unfortunately, it wasn't far enough for Layla to switch schools. But the move did excite her because there was a creepy graveyard nearby and rumor had it that there was a black wooden hut where a witch lived. So one night, she decided to visit the hut alone. Led by nothing more than the light from her cell phone, she walked down the rocky path in the graveyard and stood before the small, cobweb-covered hut. There were no lights or sounds coming from inside. Layla reached for the door and pushed it open. Everything was covered in spiderwebs and dust. It looked like no one had stepped foot in there for decades. Layla walked around inside the small, dark shack in fascination, but couldn't shake the feeling that she wasn't completely alone. Then something caught her eye. On the table was a pocket watch. It was the only thing in the shack that wasn't completely covered in dust. It didn't look like it worked anymore though. It only had one hand, which pointed at 12. Still, Layla thought it was beautiful and interesting, so she put it in her pocket and went back home. The next morning, Layla got ready for school like every other day. But when she went downstairs to eat breakfast, her mom shot her a confused look. Did you dye your hair? No. Well, something's different. Layla ignored her mom's comment and ate her breakfast. When she went to the bathroom after her meal, she caught her reflection. Her mom was right. Her hair was darker. Her hair used to be a light brown, but now it was almost black. And over the next month, her hair got even darker and her skin even paler. Her eyes were almost black as well. And then came the shadow. Every now and then in the corner of her eye, Layla would see someone watching her. But when she turned to look at it, it'd be gone. And every night she would dream that she was watching herself sleep. Like she was watching from someone else's point of view. One day at school, Layla was trying to get to her classroom without one of her bullies noticing, but failed. Christina headed straight for her and immediately began throwing rude words in her face and shoving her. As Christina walked away to her next class, Layla muttered under her breath, I wish she would be out of my life forever. She pulled out the pocket watch and rubbed the engravings. Looking at the watch always made her feel calmer. Layla was both relieved and surprised when none of the girls came near her the rest of the day. The next day, Christina didn't show up to school. Rumor had it that her parents had last minute decided to move back to Shanghai. What an amazing coincidence, Layla thought. She pulled out her pocket watch and noticed something odd. The cover was flipped open and the hand was now pointing at one. The next day, Jessica was in a terrible car crash on her way to school and ended up in a coma. Then Jasmine had gone missing. These girls had always given Layla trouble, but she never wished this on them. She threw the pocket watch in the trash, but it just reappeared in her pocket. Eventually, anyone who had ever given Layla a hard time had something unpleasant happen to them. The hands now pointed at 11. You're a demon, Layla. I don't know what you're doing, but it needs to stop. Do you understand? I have put up with you and your awful friends for years, and you dare to ask mercy of me? I wish you were dead. The next day, Emma was found in the woods near her home. She was devoured by a pack of wolves. When Layla heard the news, she knew things had gone way too far. She had to destroy that pocket watch. That night, she went back to the graveyard near her house to the hut. She threw the watch back on the table and ran back home. And the very next day, 
Jessica awoke from her coma. Jasmine had been found and reunited with her family. Even Layla's hair and skin were returning to their original colors. The curse was broken and things were back the way they were. Well, maybe not quite. Everyone at school was talking about how Layla somehow put a curse on those who wronged her and no one dared mess with her again. A very special thank you to Layla for sharing this story with us. Like this video if it gave you the chills and don't forget to subscribe to Snarled and our gaming channel Slaytrix. I'm also now on Twitch. Follow me there and everywhere else to stay updated on all my future adventures. Want Snarled, Slaytrix, or Something Scary merch? Visit our store by clicking the links beneath the video. Until next time, sweet dreams.